Okay, we're trying something new and different this morning. Uh, this morning I'm at the beach in Ventura, California. It's a gray, overcast, foggy morning, which I didn't think happened in Southern California, but I guess it does in Ventura. So I'll show you the beach. There's the pier. And that's the Pacific Ocean, which right now is very quiet. Anyways, this is a YouTube video we're recording on the possibility of enjoying my morning walk <laughs> to try and uh, keep Dr. Rutledge from becoming a bariatric surgery patient <laughs> and to answer some questions that came in. For those of you who've been interested where I've been for the past a month or two I've been on vacation here at the beach and uh, I can tell you that the uh, Pacific Ocean is cold. <laughs> I'm from the East Coast and the Atlantic and the water in Florida is very warm and so this has been a very shocking development for me. So anyways this is a trial we'll see how it works. I can see that the picture is rather jumpy as I walk along so this may not work out but Anyways, one of the questions that came in this morning, and I've posted a lot of information about it, but I can give you a quick answer. And that was, a patient had kind of a indigestion, upset stomach, or what we call in general dyspepsia. Dyspepsia just means upset stomach, and in contrast to where people get confused about the MGB, they say bile reflux or acid reflux or this or that and get confused about it. We don't really know what it is to start. It's just, you know, I don't feel, feel good. I have an upset stomach. That's a general comment. So this patient said, you know, I'm 15 years after MGB and I feel sick occasionally. I get nauseated. But then she said something really clearly indicative of what could be the problem. And that is, she said, when I burp, it smells like poop. It smells really foul, it smells really bad, okay? And the hint there is to talk about a topic this morning where I have a lot of videos, sorry, a lot of uh, detailed information about this on Facebook, and I'll put them on the website as well. And that's what's called the blind loop syndrome, or also called small bowel bacterial overgrowth syndrome or just bacterial overgrowth syndrome. And basically what happens is when you do a connection like the Rune Y or the Bill Roth II that we use in the mini gastric bypass, the gut bacteria can get messed up. Um, and this particularly happens if you eat a bad diet. And when that happens, it can lead to B12 deficiencies and iron deficiency and other illnesses. And usually it's easy to fix if you contact me um, and uh, we do some really simple things. But occasionally we've seen people get really sick from it and go to a Ruin Y doctor and then they end up with surgery. So <clears throat> the nice thing about MGB, to emphasize again, it's always easy to do surgery. Um, we rarely have needed it. In my 6,000 cases, we only have a few dozen after close to 20 years now. So, but we see often if an MGB patient goes to a Ruin Y surgeon, the first thing they do is say, well, you need surgery. And we've had many bad outcomes with that. So we recommend, you can always do surgery, but uh, the first choice is to consider what we're gonna talk about next. And the treatment is first, what we recommend, and we say this for all of the, quote, upset stomach or dysphagia, dyspepsia, issues that come up after MGB is really simple and that's a meticulous seven-day diet and what we do there is we want from morning to night by times exactly when you wake up when you go to sleep what you do all day and what you eat and this is kind of tedious but uh, oftentimes it gives us the answer to our question so a careful diet and along with diet we want activities uh, when you have discomfort or upset stomach and whether you take any medicines or supplements or drinks or anything like that, whether you smoke cigarettes, drink alcohol, all that needs to be recorded for basically an average week. 
And you can fudge a little bit, like you said, well, I had a lot of this this week and I usually have a little bit more of that. So that's fine. But the bottom line, we need all that for one week and then send that to me. Now, what I can tell you is what we find most often is people are not doing what we told them in the manual. <laughs> and so here's the summary. If you get the risks of bacterial overgrowth or blind loop syndrome or small bowel bacterial overgrowth syndrome, the first treatment is to go back to a healthy diet. <laughs> and uh, I just got uh, actually a patient who actually worked for me <laughs> many years ago. She had the surgery and she's doing well. And uh, I can do a shout out to her uh, and uh, say hi. <laughs> her diet is pretty bad. <laughs> and she used to counsel patients about, you know, what to eat. So anyways, uh, that basically the, uh, the diet that we recommend is really simple. It's kind of like the Mediterranean diet, if you look that up online, or another good example that's pretty close to our diet is what's called the post-gastrectomy syndrome diet. And so what you do is go back to eating healthy. Um, we particularly think that when you have bad bacteria in the gut, which is what the bacterial overgrowth syndrome or blind loop syndrome is, you have bad bacteria, we want to replace it with good bacteria. So the way to do that, in addition to healthy foods and high fiber foods, is to put in healthy bacteria. And you can get healthy bacteria at the store in the form of plain yogurt. Now, no trick yogurt, no non-fat yogurt, <laughs> no <laughs> sweetened yogurt, no pudding, although you're allowed to have that. But, but we think almost as medicine, the way we'd like to think about it is to recommend that you take uh, one or two teaspoons of plain yogurt three or four times a day to start helping make this better. That good healthy diet, exercise, getting out in the sun, we have found usually fixes this problem. If that doesn't, then you go to your doctor and talk about this and we recommend you discuss with him the possibility that you treat the infection or overgrowth of bad bacteria with antibiotics. Now we don't do this all the time, but oftentimes, and the bug antibiotic that we use commonly is a cheap one called Flagyl or Metronidazole. And that can be for up to six weeks. We'll often do it for a week or two to start and change the diet, get rid of the bad, add the good, go out in the sun, add exercise, do healthy, usual, understandable, common things. And that takes care of it. Um, and that, then you're better. So. Uh, that's what we recommend. It's usually pretty simple. Um, in addition, uh, we recommend that uh, you <coughs> consider talking with your doctor and occasionally, although we've never had this, you can actually undo the MGB to make you better. Um, this has not ever been necessary and usually it's an easy fix, but don't hesitate to be in touch with me anytime. Anyways, I uh, hope that's been interesting, and uh, there's a lot of information which I'll link here and on Facebook. Thanks. Good morning.